Next we have the white Carrera marble and this is a polished marble and uh, so we have uh, the permanent sealed side right here. We have nothing sealed in this little quarter here and then over here we have a uh, section that I sealed with another sealer. It's a 15 year warranty sealer uh, that I got at one of the box stores. Uh, a little bit uh, on the uh, upper scale of uh, price range so uh, not one of the cheap ones one of the more expensive ones because i want to show you exactly what that does again it's got a 15 year warranty read the instructions it tells you that every uh, six months or every 12 months you've got to reapply something uh, and again that's that's just standard on what you're going to find on the shelves in box stores uh, or in any other store because they are water-based and it's not like the permanent sealer that has a different uh, structure to it but again uh, let's uh, look into this and let's uh, put some uh, uh, condiments on here and see what happens Okay, here we have the Carrera marble and uh, let's uh, take a look and see what's happened to it uh, this past uh, hour, hour and a half. So right here we have the ketchup. Now let me just remind you this is the piece that was sealed with the, uh, I actually made a mistake. I had said it was a 15 year sealer, it's actually a 20 year sealer. This is the permanent sealer and right here no sealer at all. Okay, so we are back here with the camera on this side to try to get a glimpse of what stained and what etched and uh, how everything went. So right here we have the ketchup and as you can see as I look over where the ketchup was, it stained it and as I angle the light, it also etched it, okay? Same thing for the olive oil and this is again on the 20 year sealer. You can see that it left a stain right there no etch on the olive oil. As I angle it, you'll see that olive oil is neutral. It does not have any acid, so you don't see any etches at all. Then mustard stained as well. All right, you can see the stain there, and then it etched. Same thing for the lemon juice. It's just one big fat uh, etch over there. It really ate away at it. It actually feels rough. Same thing for the uh, vinegar. So those are very, very powerful uh, acids and will eat away at your marble pretty quickly. All right, once again, we have grape jelly. Let's try to wipe this off. That left a slight little etch. Uh, no major, no staining there. All right, same thing for the uh, uh, Italian dressing. We have a stain. As you can see, you look over the stone. You can see stains. And then as you angle it, you see the etch right there. Okay, so again down here where there was no uh, protection at all you have the olive oil pretty bad stain right there just as bad as the 20 year sealer almost and then you have the um, soy sauce soy sauce over here as well also seems like it left a stain and an etch all right you have the um, mustard right there stain and an etch Okay, so uh, that is the uh, ketchup over there. Same thing. You can see the stain as you look over. As you angle the light, bring it all the way down, you can see nice big etch right there. Okay, and all the other etches. That was the uh, grape jelly right there. And then on the permanent sealer, there was no stain. As you look over it, no stain on the ketchup at all. All right. As we angle it, you see the etch right there. All right, you have the uh, lemon juice right there with the etch, vinegar right there with the etch. 
Italian dressing with the etch right there as I can get it onto the light. You got the grape grape jelly over there. Olive oil, zero, nothing. Okay. So again, permanent sealable warranty against staining only on the calcite based stones. All right, chocolate sauce, which was right here. There's nothing no etching and no staining. So that is the marble. If you're going to get a marble, uh, white marble, then you will have to understand that etches will happen. If you get the permanent sealer, you'll get away with staining. So this here is the white marble. We're going to clean this up and see kind of what happened. Again, I just want to point out that this is the uh, permanent sealer, 20 year sealer and the non-sealed at all. And you can see actually right around uh, all these uh, more oily condiments, the olive oil and so on, how it's gotten dark. That means that there was a lot of penetration there. And you can see that the permanent sealer didn't uh, have uh, any of those dark uh, lines around it. A little bit on the uh, ketchup, but uh, zero on the olive oil. And uh, even the mustard doesn't really have uh, much, if anything. But again, these are acidic. Uh, all these are actually acidic, so uh, it's not unlikely to have the acids uh, create the etch, burn up the uh, surface, and then leak some of the um, oil in. So over here, obviously, very little to no protection. Same thing right here. But let's look at it as we clean this up. Okay, before I actually uh, clean this up, I wanted to film from here. And uh, just so you can see the vinegar right here. I mean, it's literally turned into powder. All right, so what's happened there, as you can see, uh, little crumbs, crumbles, uh, almost feels like salt. Uh, and that's because of the, uh, again, acid reaction with the stone, and it actually uh, creates uh, this etch on, this, on the surface. And uh, this here too, on this side, look at how it just crumbles up. Okay, so here we have it. Uh, these are the results for the white marble. As you can see, the permanent sealer resisted majority of uh, everything right here. The ketchup, obviously, uh, as it etched, it actually allowed for penetration of some of the oils, but nothing compared to uh, the other two right there. Uh, you also have uh, nothing over here with the olive oil, as you can see where the olive oil was. Nothing. No penetration, no etching. There was absolutely nothing there. The jelly also left no stain. Uh, did leave a slight etch as uh, I'm looking at it right here. But uh, on this side with the 20-year sealer, pretty much everything etched or stained. Uh, here we had more resistance. Chocolate sauce has nothing. No stain, no etches. The chocolate sauce here, there is a slight etch and there is a slight little stain over there. All right, so again, this is your choice. This is how you are going to have to deal with uh, your countertops if you get a white marble. Um, you know, again, I do tons and tons and tons of clients with white marbles, whether it's a Carrera, the Calcutta, many different types of uh, white marbles, and I've had uh, no complaints about uh, any staining. Uh, again, this is pretty excessive. We are uh, over 16 hours now with uh, these uh, stains and um, you saw how everything was just kind of dry and kind of lumped up. So again, if you're going to get this type of stone, you're going to seal with a uh, standard sealer. That's going to be the results you're going to get. If you decide not to seal at all, well, that's what you're going to expect. If you seal with a permanent sealer, that's what you kind of expect as well.